In May, 13 on your side aired an Our Michigan Life story about Michigan's Arctic Grayling Initiative. Arctic Grayling fish were a native species to Michigan. They disappeared from the state's rivers and streams a century ago. The initiative, which began in 2016, is a statewide effort to restore self-sustaining populations of grayling here in Michigan. 13 on your side's Brent Ashcroft has been following the grayling initiative all year. Joins us now with an update you will only see here. Brent. Michigan State University is where it is happening. The location on campus undisclosed, but our camera was allowed inside to document a critical evaluation that must succeed if grayling is to once again flourish in Michigan streams. What's a competitive trial, the necessary outcome, and the one grayling that's bringing the initiative hope? <laughs> Can't we all just get along? You know, play in the same sandbox. A lot of aggressive interactions. Or, in this case, stream. That's what happened to Grayling in Michigan. Sounds like questions asked of toddlers. It's been functioning for two seasons now. Welcome to Nicole Watson's daycare. These kids are feisty. We're totally at the whim of the fish. Non-stop behavioral issues. Pretty much. They never hear probably caused by constant water in the ear. Nicole has put Arctic grayling and brown trout in her version of timeout. Brown trout are very dominant. Hoping for changes in behavior. Banking on. It's very interesting to see. The two fish species finding a way to coexist. I tried to mimic as much as possible what a natural ecosystem would look like. Behind the curtains. Inside these tubs, Michigan's Arctic Grayling Initiatives Playground. How do we get this fish to survive and thrive in our rivers where they used to? Artificial stream environments. We start out with 10 brown trout and 10 grayling. This lab is home to ongoing competition trials, which must deliver specific results. If we can get them to live to age one in the rivers, then chances are they're going to make it to the next subsequential years. Nicole monitors. Let's see how these fish are going to interact, both predatory-wise, but also competitory. Researches. Positioning. Evaluates. Habitat selectivity. Literally forces Arctic grayling and brown trout to make peace. That's the plan. Grayling's return depends greatly. We've had some very promising results. On a trout truce. Brown trout didn't evolve with the native fish populations that we have here. We introduced them. Basically, they're bullies. Think about if you have a box of pizza and every time I try and go to grab a slice, you hit my hand. No nourishment, no survival. What you see is the brown trout push the grayling to the periphery of the stream, to the sides, and they push them back away from the food so they can allocate the food resources to themselves. Nicole spends hours. They can coexist in the presence of brook trout, and that's been very promising. Days. On campus, though? Weeks waiting for change. I've had 30 grayling in the presence of brown trout. And so out of those 30, we've had one grayling that has been showing very bold personality and growing positively. This kid is tired of being in. I often see it right mid channel and obtaining food. Time out. Definitely. Wants to make it work. It is safe enough to go get that food. You can grow, you can access that food source, even if there's another species around that may outcompete you from time to time. Got to give it to this gutsy grayling. What it's showing is some hope. Stay fearless, little guy. If you can convince your friends to follow. We have to be patient. And Nicole stays vigilant. It could happen again. Michigan's waterways. That habitat is still there. Will one day welcome home one of their own. The goal is to have self-sustaining populations of Arctic grayling in Michigan to where, say, 15 years from now, we can go out and you can fish in northern Michigan and you can catch brook trout, grayling, you could catch rainbow trout and brown trout, and it'd be an amazing fishing day. Nicole will go back to Alaska next spring to retrieve more grayling eggs, then continue the artificial stream trials. If the trials reveal that grayling and brown trout can continuously coexist, grayling could be reintroduced to Michigan streams and rivers by the year 2025. If you'd like to learn more about Michigan's Arctic Railing Initiative and Nicole's habitat evaluation, check out the web version of this story. You can find it right now at 13onyourside.com.